Page 110, Sleeping Beauty Waltz. With this lesson, they're introducing the third accidental. You see the sharp sign and the flat sign, and the natural, they're called accidentals. Not because they're accidents, because they're temporary. There's like five different accidentals, and these are the three most common ones. These are the ones you're gonna see the most. The rule is the same for all of them. Um, it applies from that point on for the rest of the measure for that staff, you know. And a natural sign simply takes away the sharp or flat. Play the white key. So let's look at this waltzy and see what's going on here. It's a page and a half long. Looks like a mess. So we're gonna have to talk about the mess. Treble bass clef, three, four time signature. It's a waltz. Waltzes are usually in three, four time signature. Makes sense, I guess. We got flat signs and natural signs. I don't see any sharp signs anywhere. And we got eighth notes, quarter notes, dotted half. Oh, everybody's here. Sort of. You can't have any whole notes in three or four times, so there wouldn't be any of those. Let's take this one hand at a time, make sure we understand what each hand is doing. Then we'll attempt to put the hands together and ugh. right hand, it's you have D and an F that puts your hand in this position. I don't think you're moving around, in which case you don't need any other finger numbers for the right hand. Just read the notes. So it's one, two, three. I'm just lowering the whole hand down and letting the wrist collapse a little bit. Don't collapse a lot. Just collapse a little bit. Stay relaxed. That's a loose wrist. Run. Then I'll measure five. One, two, three, four, one, two, rest. And that C is tied for two two measures, so you hold it down for six counts, and then you go on. And then measure ten. One, two, three. The E flat, the third finger is already busy. I don't want to use third finger again, so I'm, I'm going to use second in this case. But I'm not really changing hand position, I'm just bringing the second finger up. Two, three, one, two. Here. Now I can use third finger. They, they put a circle around the thumb. I disagree with that because you're in this position. You didn't move. All you did was use second finger on the E flat. And then going on, now I can use third finger. See, I would have used third finger in measure 11 if I could have, but I just used it in measure 10. It's used up, so I gotta go back. Go down to measure 21. It's one, two, three, and third finger now. Two, three, one. And this is an exception to the rule that an accidental applies to the rest of the measure and only that measure. There's exceptions to most all rules. That's what keeps life interesting, I guess. But when it's tied to the next measure, it stays. So that quarter note E in measure, whatever it is, 24, it's tied. That's an E flat. Stay on it. So it's one, two, three, one. And then they have to have a flat sign in front of the next one, or it would be a natural. It's, it's a little confusing. I'll measure 23. The flat sign carries for the rest of the measure, but it also carries for the note, the tied note. You just hang on to that note. But it, that doesn't mean that then all the E's in the next measure are going to be flat also. Because the flat sign only applies to the measure it's in. So the E in the next measure has to have a flat sign or it would be an E natural. So that that's a little confusing the way it works, but that's music. Welcome aboard. So starting at measure 23 with the E flat, it's one, two, three, one. Three. Measure 27, one, two. And then with a D and an L. Okay. Left hand. Well, let's see, we got two on here, that would have put two here, that we're in this position. Because if I'm using two on the B flat, it means I would have used two on the B, and that puts me in this position. The B flat is not part of the position. It, the position is the white keys for now. I'll change that later. And we just move into the black keys when we need to. Because we might, might not always use second finger on that B flat. We might need to use third finger on it sometime. Mm, well, depends on the music. So anyway, it's second. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. Rest.
just one, two. Now they have a natural sign there in major six on the B. That natural sign is not needed because the B flats you had before only apply to the measures they're in. There's no flat in this measure, so it's a natural anyway. However, they want to be sure that you understand that it's not an error or something. It really needs to be a B natural. So they put in a natural sign to be sure. It's called a courtesy sign. It's in case you're getting confused or questioning it, I'm telling you for sure this is what it is. It's a courtesy sign. Not required, just nice to have. So it's a B natural. And then they go on, it's an F and an A. One, two, three, one. Measure 10, it's a G and a B flat. Okay. Measure 15, they give you another B natural. You don't need a natural sign, it's a B natural anyway, but doesn't hurt. And then one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now measure 20. You do need the natural sign on that B, otherwise it would be a B flat. Then going on, major 21, major 22, you don't need those natural signs there. See, I don't want you to get in the idea that, oh, we got to have these natural signs in here because you might be reading some other music from some other publisher or whatever, and they don't give them to you. Then you're thinking, oh, are those flats then? I'm conf they're not necessary here. They're just doing them. Don't, don't think they're required. They're not. At the end, last two measures, that B flat, again, it's tied, so it carries across for the whole six count. Put the hands together, what could possibly go wrong, huh? Well, you just take it like here, and then there, and then here, and then it's just left hand. Let's go measure six. It's here, because the right hand was tied, and then here, Go to measure 15. The kicker here, as with so many other things, is that the split the melody between the hands. This happens a lot. You need to get where you, it sounds like one hand played it all. One hand played the whole thing. So let's balance it out. And I couldn't do this for a long time when I, they would do this. I could not. One hand was always a lot louder or softer than the other. It was always different. Eventually, I got the control where I could even that out. Measure 21. Here. put the hands together. I already did. Then go back over very slowly and carefully and get rid of the hesitations so it's a steady beat. And then we'll think about the articulation. We have phrasing. Lift up. The measure 16. The phrase starts on a so lift up, don't connect, and measure 16, don't connect the first two notes. No, lift up there. The staccatos, hinge at the wrist in here. I'm on the key and I'm bouncing off. The idea. And once you have the articulation under control, then I think about the dynamics. They apply to the melody. More challenges for you. Ah, since the dynamics applies to the melody, everything else is background. They're background singers or whatever. This, they give you a P for the right hand. That's unnecessary. Music generally won't do that. It's up to you to know, bring out the melody. The MF, that's melody. Everything else is softer than that. It's all melody. It's uh, now you don't need the P there in, in what measure seven. It's just background. 
I'm in that, that case, you don't need the MF either because you're already MF. The melody is. Just bring out the melody. Don't get confused by these P's. You don't need these P's in here. They're telling you the background is in the background. Makes sense. Now, measure 21, you get this long hairpin. You're going to go up to loud. So I'm going to go from moderately loud to loud. And there's not a lot of difference. Yeah. Well, first off, I don't want to go from moderately loud to loud. I need more room to grow. So I'm going to come down to moderately soft. And then I got more room to get up. So at the well, measure 19 or so, right in there, I might come down and come, come down about moderately soft. So I'm moderately soft here, just a hair louder, not a hair louder, and then go on. Blah, 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 blah. There. Most of your crescendos in the eighth notes. That's what you want. So you plan it out as like a measure or two at a time, because if you don't plan it out, you'll be loud by measure 22. So I'm down here about moderately soft. And the left hand's super soft. A little louder. Now. Now. And the left hand can come up to about moderately, moderately in the middle somewhere. So you're coming down at the end, the hairpin. Here, and then these continue to come down. You're you're going to be on the soft side anyway, but you keep them down more. Here, yeah. Again, you need to get into it where you're feeling the dynamics. You can find recordings of orchestras playing this and listen to a few play it. You get into feeling this music and yeah, the natural accents. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. accents. I'm exaggerating them so you can hear them better, but you feel them. Then the speed. Andante is nice leisurely pace. I've been going way too fast. Just nice leisurely pace. If you want to pedal those, go ahead. I don't see any point in it. I don't recommend it. You're going to lose the staccatos if you do. And there's no point in pedaling on that. If I didn't use pedal anywhere else, I see no reason to put add it at the end all of a sudden. Ugh. I want to die away. I don't want to add overtones and stuff to it. I want it to die away. Let's play it together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do the louds and softs. I'm going to play it all about the same. I'll try and put in the phrasing and the staccatos, though. I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go.
there's a duet for this. I'd like to play that, and you play what you just played. I'm going to speed it up a little bit, and again, I need you to go up an octave on the piano. So just pretend the middle C, instead of here, is up here. So instead of here, we're up here. I'll give us three counts. One, ready, go.